you talk about doing humanities research and people they kind of give you an odd look they're like but you're not in an actual lab you're not working with like lab goggles and pipettes doing different things i've told some of my friends that are doing uh, that i'm doing research over the summer and they still don't quite grasp how like what i'm doing is actually research or i'll talk to my mom about what i'm doing and she still confuses the research i'm doing for like being in a summer class we're looking at different pictures of Harriet Tubman from the photographs that were taken during her life to even like present fine arts and murals that are created by artists now to kind of look at how her representation has changed. And sometimes when we look at Harriet Tubman or we think of Harriet Tubman, we only think of her as an abolitionist. And though she was that and she was amazing for it, there were so many other parts of her character. By providing that visual aspect, I think it allows them to see and judge for themselves. I think it helps really immerse the people that are like looking into our research, like understand it. So we kind of just started going through like bigger sites like the Library of Con Congress, Smithsonian, and then just looking at different artwork and different pieces like that, going on social media to see if there's like any trending tag with Harriet Tubman to try to find photos of her that have changed over time. Because even though we kind of know her history, sometimes what we do think about her is so one-sided. We think abolitionist and she was that, but she was also so much more. So being able to look at her different characters through these photos and through the ways the artists have chosen to represent her so that other parts of her personality and her persona could come out. I feel like by more and more students engaging in humanities research, hopefully over time, people will start to see its value up to par with STEM research that's lauded a lot more. Hello everyone, we are the Photographic Life of Harriet Tubman Story Plus team. The artistic renditions of Harriet Tubman have a more emotional appeal, and a lot of them can be seen in the zine that we just handed out. For example, we were able to visit the North Carolina Museum of Arts and see this mural by Erin Douglas, where Tubman is breaking her chains of slavery. When she was 12, she was struck in the head by a slave owner, making her develop narcolepsy, a mental illness that caused her to suddenly fall into sleeping spells. She suffered with this for the rest of her life. She was also a strong supporter of women's suffrage, working with other famous figures like Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton. April 2016, Jack Lew, the then Secretary of Treasury, announced that in 2020, Harriet Tubman will replace Andrew Jackson on the face of the $20 bill, coinciding with the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, women's suffrage. The bill would be postponed until 2028. Even with this delay, there's still an opportunity for Harriet Tubman to be presented on the $20 bill. It's a design from this man named Dana Wall from New York, and he created the templates. Ah, oh, there she is. She's so cute. Look at her. <laughs> Oh my god. You don't really pay attention to money a lot, but I can see like the stamp being big. It, it starts a conversation, which is always like the first step into like change. Harriet Tubman, she wasn't one to brag about all the efforts um, she did. She rescued people and then she went back and she rescued more. She didn't like flex or boast all her accomplishments, but it is important to acknowledge her, to remember her history and to remember the different aspects of her that do exist because she wasn't just a single story. She was so much more than that. Humanities research is transmitting often untold and overlooked stories to an audience no matter their background or education. So I would say to a student that like if you're really into the humanities, and maybe not even just one thing, but you want to have the experience of working with other students and getting like mentorship from a graduate student and just having a professor also just overlook your work and support your work, Story Plus would be good for that just because it's so personal. And since you're just together for such a long period of time every day, for the six weeks that you're here, you really start to form connections with your work and with other students in Story Plus.